Hi, my name is Jason Monleon, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new VNC desktop APB that we've developed for the automation broker. The first thing I've gone ahead and done for demonstration purposes is created a new project called desktop, and as you can see, there's nothing running in this project yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is browse the catalog and pull up the new APB. Uh, we get the description, so I'll go ahead and click next. I'm going to choose Fedora 27 to start. I'm also going to enter a simple password, and then we get to the interesting choices. Uh, we have several desktops we can choose from. I'll start with OXQT. We can also choose the shell, choose KSSH, and then uh, we can choose the resolution, and I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080. So I'll click Create and let that provision. And while it's provisioning, let's look at the logs. So this APB, the first thing it's going to do is uh, create a PVC. This PVC will back the uh, home directory for the uh, pod that's created. That way, any changes that are made to the desktop configuration, any files that are created as work, etc., will be saved through restarts of the container. After that, we're going to see a uh, task to create the actual VNC desktop pod, and then another one to create the client pod and a route so that we can access the service. Now that that's done, let's go back to the overview, and we can see our two pods. So the VNC desktop pod is actually going to run a VNC server, and then the VNC client pod is going to run no VNC so that we can access this without having to go and get a VNC client from somewhere to connect to the service. So I'll click on the route. All we have to do is click connect and then enter the password. So here we have an LXQT desktop. Um, it basically functions for the most part like a normal desktop. We can open up Firefox. We can do, th we can do things like browse the web. You can also uh, start up LibreOffice if you want to. And if we pull up a terminal, it may be a little hard to see. I realize this is probably small, but we'll uh, echo dollar sign shell. And we can see it says KSSH. So let's go back to OpenShift, and we can click on the provision service and edit it. Actually, before doing that, let's go over here and create something. Now let's go back. So again, all I did is clicked on, click on the uh, provision service, and I'm going to click edit. This time, I'm going to choose Fedora 28. I'll go back here again. You can see that right now we're on Fedora 27. Uh, I'd like to use a different desktop, so I'll choose Mate. I'm going to go back to using Bash, and I'll keep my resolution set. So you can see that the deployment is rolling. The new pod is up. Connect again, and there's my new desktop. You can see that my uh, shell has been changed correctly. And you can see that we have the file that we created. And we can still go about our business doing things like browsing the web creating documents or doing whatever else we want to do in this uh, desktop environment.
So uh, one thing to call out is that right now we've installed several desktops in one container. Uh, if you go ahead and try this APB, be aware that the VNC desktop pod may take several minutes to launch while it's downloading. Uh, one possible improvement that we could make is to split out the desktop to different pods. So uh, we may work on that in the near future uh, so that it's a little less time consuming to pull it the first time around. Anyway, thank you for watching and that uh, concludes the demo of